Hey, Psych2Goers. So you have a crush and you're trying to figure out what to do so you don't embarrass yourself. Yeah, we've all been there before. If you've been terrified you're going to do something wrong in front of them, then worry not. We are here to tell you seven things you should definitely not do around your crush. Number one, come on too strong. First of all, there's nothing wrong with being straightforward. And if you're one of those rare few who are brave enough to actually confess to their crush how they really feel, then that's great. Kudos to you. With that said, however, there is a difference between being forthcoming and being too forceful. The last thing you wanna do is scare your crush off or make them uncomfortable by coming on too strong, such as constantly fawning over them, stalking them wherever they go, and so on. Number two, fantasize about your future together. Yeah, remember what we said about not coming on too strong? This definitely falls under that category. Saying anything along the lines of, oh, I can't wait for you to meet my family. They're going to love you. Or you're gonna be my future wife or husband, just you wait, isn't as smooth of a pickup line as you might think. To tell you the truth, it's actually kind of creepy if you say it to someone you aren't even in a committed relationship with. Fantasizing about an imagined future with your crush is sweet and all, but it's something you're better off keeping to yourself. Otherwise, it comes across as incredibly obsessive and presumptuous. Number three, send mixed signals. You wanna be careful not to send your crush any mixed signals either. Because if one minute you're having a really good time talking to them and the next you seem to act like they don't even exist, then how are they even supposed to feel? Sending mixed signals like this makes them think that you don't care about their feelings and that this is all just a big game to you. Number four, act like you don't care. Arguably, the only thing worse than sending your crush mixed signals is acting like you don't care about them at all, to the point where you might even start to come off as rude and inconsiderate. Hiding the way you feel is one thing, but to ignore, criticize, or disrespect someone just because you can't deal with your feelings for them is completely unacceptable. Be careful you don't cross the line from playful teasing and banter to actually hurting their feelings. Number five, pretend to be someone you're not. Now, whether we like to admit it or not, the truth is most of us have probably tried to change a few things about ourselves to impress our crush and get them to like us. And hey, that's okay. It's only natural that you'd wanna make a good impression on someone you feel attracted to. The problem, however, lies in trying too hard to the point that we start pretending to be someone we're not. And as cheesy and cliche as it might sound, there's no denying that if you really want your crush to like you, then you should just be yourself and let them get to know you, the real you. Number six, act jealous or possessive. Have you ever acted jealous towards the other people your crush seems to spend a lot of time with or dislike certain people they seem to be especially friendly with? While it's only natural to feel a bit jealous of those people your crush seems to be close to, especially if you feel there might be something there, the truth is you don't really have any right to act possessive over your crush because of it. Think about it. How would you feel if someone liked you and then just suddenly started acting jealous to all of your friends and telling you that you spend too much time with them? It's a huge turnoff, right? Because it makes them come off as insecure, controlling, and needy. And number seven, overthink everything. Finally, but perhaps most importantly, one of the biggest ways we ruin our own chances with our crush is by overthinking every little thing we do around them. We get so lost in our own head sometimes, agonizing over every tiny detail, from the way we look to the way we talk to the way we come across, that every interaction with them feels like a needlessly complicated emotional roller coaster. Worst of all, they probably didn't even notice or don't even care about any of that stuff you're overthinking about. So what's the point? Chill out, take a breath and relax. It'll help you be more confident around your crush and let them get to know the real you. So do you relate to any of the things we've listed here? Have you ever done any of these seven things you shouldn't do around your crush? Well, even if you answered yes, that's okay. At least you know better now and hey, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. We all act a little silly and get tongue-tied around the people we like sometimes. What matters most is that you stay true to yourself and take things slow. Then, when you're confident enough, shoot your shot and see what happens. We'll be rooting for you. Did this video help you? Please like and share it with friends that might find value in this video too. 
Make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the references used are added in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.